Hi, welcome back to my channel. So today I am making a huge roast that I'm browning over there. It cost us $19, but I'm making it up so that we get it for the week and for the kids when they stop by. In here I've got uh, butternut squash, some of my potatoes from my garden, not a lot because I can't eat it, celery, onion, scallions, and sliced diced tomatoes, carrots, um, what else? Oh, a little bit of thyme and a little bit of parsley. So I want to take, even though I'm going to put a clove of garlic, a whole globe of it, that I've got over here in the pan, that I cut the top off and then I put it in the pan to get some of the greases and rendering it off. And I've got bacon ends in here for the boys, but it gives my roast more flavor. I'm going to shut that off because it is uh, browned enough. So I'm going to take these and uh, squeeze it. I oh, better do two at a time. And get that in here. So I've got lots of garlic and in here, oh, it's going to be wonderful. I'm just telling you. And I always clean mine out. That's a Tupperware garlic. I'm telling you, they're wonderful. All right. So I've got about two and a half tablespoons of white flour. Just going to sprinkle half of that on there right now. Ah, let's pour it all on there. Beefy onion soup mix. For some reason, I have not been able to just peel anything open today. I'm going to pour that on there. Now what the flour is going to do is when it starts to make its gravy, it's going to thicken it up for me. Yeah, see, I think, I think I have. Kind of stir that in a little. Coat everything good. Now I did season a little, not a lot in here. This is our roast, it's got a lot of flavoring. So I'm gonna take a little bit of kosher salt and run it across the top. Salt makes flavor. You gotta have some salt in there or else it's just not gonna be flavorful. Pepper, now if you don't like black pepper, try white pepper. You might actually like it. It's a more mild pepper and it's actually pretty good. And of course, seasoned salt. So I'm going to take my hands here and I'm going to coat everything really good. It smells amazing. Rinse my hands. Alright, now I do got some hot water here. I'm going to add just a little bit in here on the bottom. and some beef stock. The husband probably used maybe a cup of that earlier in one of his chili this recipes. Bad boy, it's bad of uh, veggies. Give it one more stir. Smell a vision. I'm telling you it's wonderful. My mouth's watering already. Now you wonder why I told, uh, added tomato in there. Tomato and beef is a wonderful combination. And so is thyme. Like ta ha 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 is on our side. Yes it is. Anyways. I don't know why I have to sing that song every time I use it, but I do. Okay. So I'm going to take my roast out, try to, and as you can see it's browned on both sides. I'm going to lay it right in there. 
And I'm going to take this garlic. Shake my hand. You know, pretty brown that wet. Stick it right in. Okay, I am going to try to move the veggies out from underneath just a little, not a lot, because I want it above it a little. But I want it to be nothing in there. And if you get escapees, put them back in. Price of food is too much nowadays to be wasting. Your kitchen counters and sinks should be clean enough to where you ain't got to worry about it, right? Okay. See how I got them all nice and tucked in there? I don't like the foil to touch my meat, so I use wax paper. And I just kind of tuck it in. Like that. Because it helps protect your meat a little so that it's not right on top of that foil. It's a good tip. And the wax is not going to melt into your food. You can use parchment if you choose. But I don't know how many times have you opened up your stuff that's been in the oven and you see where the foil is kind of disintegrated into your food and you're like, yeah. Yeah. I don't want that. So again, I'm just going to wrap this up. My beautiful uh, pan that I love so much. I got it years and years ago with my first marriage. My kids were babies. I had a crystal party. And this was part of, this is what I got for having such a good party. All right, she's all tucked in, ready to go in the oven, and I'll be back when she's done. All right, so it's definitely done. When I put in the temp, it's like in the 200s, but I like my roast where they fall apart and come apart like that easy. Look at that. Nice tender roast, but I'm going to let her sit here. Uh, husband's home, but not quite ready to eat. So this is how the rest of our dinner looks. And I'll squeeze the garlic out of the uh, for full cloves of garlic for on our bread. And uh, yeah, the squash is perfectly done. Everything, and it smells wonderful. So that's how I cook my roast this time. I hope you enjoyed our video, and as always, big hugs from my pantry to yours. Thank you for stopping by. Bye.